So, yeah. uh, good evening, everyone. I'd like to call the June seventh, twenty twenty one regular select board meeting for the town of Berlin to order. With us is to my left is Flo Smith. Across the table is John Quinn and um, David Sawyer. With us also is Tom Badowski, uh, acting as administrator, town administrator, and our treasurer, uh, Diane Isabel. Um, additions or changes to the agenda? I don't have any. Okay. Uh, public comment? Any public comment? Any public comment? Hearing none, treasurer's report, Diane. Okay. Um, do you have any? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, on August 24th, I'll be having the preliminary work for the audit. Okay. And then of schedule September 28th and 29th for the audit. I'm not certain yet if we're going to have a single audit, but potentially we will. But we still should be able to do it in that time frame. And then the assessors who sent out the uh, change of appraisal letters, they sent that out on June 2nd, and they'll be hearing grievances the week of June 14th, which is next week. And otherwise, not anything I have is new. The, the change of appraisals, those go to everyone? or those No, only the ones that had a change of some reason. sort. Like if you, let's say you built a deck built a or yep. something like that, or okay. if for some reason they had to uh, reappraise your home. <clears throat> Um, Fisher Road Colbert update. Uh, the as you know, uh, soon after the, I think the last select board meeting, uh, Chip Legue came in and signed the easement. I think there was a, a, a document in your packet to that effect. The we just received Friday the final working in the uh, uh, floodway so permit. So we're trying to get B-Trans to sign off on their approval of the, the bid documents. Uh, they haven't done it yet. We do it anticipated any time. Uh, and we've reached out to the uh, state infrastructure bank to see if there are any outstanding item, items on their checklist that would preclude us from ordering that the culvert arch structure. Do we have an estimated start time? Uh, it, uh, it's four, it's a minimum of four weeks out for the structure. So let's, let's say it's uh, five weeks. So it, the earliest would be five weeks from from today. And the price held pretty well on that. We, uh, we talked to them about a month ago. It was good then. We haven't reached back to them. Uh, anything else, Tom? No, that's it. Thank you. Any questions for Tom on this? Uh, board discussion with Recreation Committee applicant Tim Shea. Tim Shea is here tonight. Yes, I am. Yeah, here it is. Hello. So he's applied to be on the rec, rec committee. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are we are we just uh, interviewing them? Is that the uh, is that the thought? Or? But they this would like to take action. Yeah. Sure. Um. Yeah. So Tim. I take it you're a sports fan, recreation fan? I am. Yeah, in fact, I'm at my son's lacrosse game right now. But yes, I am. Uh, I've coached cross country and track. I'm an athlete myself, mountain biker, triathlete, ultra runner. Uh, lived in Berlin quite some time and just looking forward to putting some energies to the rec committee and 
help move some of these initiatives forward. And uh, Vince has given us a little bit of background as far as kind of uncoupling with the conservation. So happy to kick this off and move things forward. Any other questions or comments for? What, what kind of initiatives do you see the, the Recreation Board taking up in the future, Tim? Uh, I think the bike path, hopefully, ideally, more uh, fields at some point. Um, certainly knowing there'll be a handoff from the, uh, with the committee working on conservation, working on the handoff with the snowmobile trails and such. Um, and any way we can extend recreational opportunities for, for our citizens. I move approval of uh, Tim Shea to the Recreation Committee. I second the motion and thank you for your interest. Any other comments on this? Hearing none, those in favor? Aye. 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 Congratulations. Thank you, Tim. Thank you very much. All right, appreciate it. Have a good day. You too. Um, in the uh, work for right away consolidated communications, uh, they've they've applied for uh, working in a town right away. They're putting in some underground cable uh, console consolidated communications. Um, uh, it says approximately fifteen hundred dollars. I believe they gave five fifteen thousand dollars work. I think they gave you a five fifteen hundred dollar fifteen hundred dollar uh, check as a, a bond. Um, and I would ask you your consideration to approve this tonight. So they're just uh, bearing cable beside the road. Correct. Any uh, do we have a motion on this? Make him. Oh, go ahead. I make the motion to approve the work in the right of way consolidated communications as presented to us tonight in permit number 21 043. Your second. A second. Any other discussions on this? Yeah, I just have one question, and maybe it's right here and I'm missing it, but uh, what's the length that they're boring under the road? Is it just uh, straight across the road? Uh, I think I'm probably just. I saw the burying depth to be 36 inches of the underground cable. I guess just but. my question is, is where's it going? Mm, I see your point. Berlin Heights. It's in Berlin Heights. To the end of Berlin Heights. So, okay. Berlin Heights is above Vine Street, I'm assuming. Yeah, it that's is. where I live. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. She wants cable. So you want Fireversa for fast? Uh, yeah, I do. I yeah. really do that. Okay. It's, it's that, for me. It's just for me. <laughs> that clears it out. Yes, yeah, so you better prove it. <laughs> what this is, is these folks actually have a contract to do Berry Town, a Berry City. And that's because some of uh, these addresses are Berry City addresses. That's why they're getting this disability to put in. All right. Do everything. Uh, any other comments on this? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Okay. Oh, uh, Planning Commission leads on discussion report. Carla, you're up. <laughs> oh, I only have one screen, so I can't. Ooh, oh, you guys can't. I better shut my video off. Can you see me? Yeah, yeah, you're all right. All right. Well, um, let me. I gotta, but I got to pull up my report. Um. Well, as you know, the, the Berlin did receive a conditional approval for the uh, Newtown Center. Um, the conditions were primarily focused around stormwater planning and zoning changes. Um, so 
uh, to address some of those, um, as you know, the town has applied for three stormwater planning grants. I, I believe applied and received or, or loans um, for the mall site, the CVMC site and the 802 car site. So those are um, happening. Um, town applied for a VTrans bicycle and pedestrian program grant application for a scoping study of the road diet for Fisher Road. Also to try to address the Fisher Road concerns um, so that we can hopefully expand the, the, the site back to the original size versus it being pared down as a condition. Um, we also applied for an AARP grant for a block parties to happen at the Newtown Center this summer to try to promote the vision and just sort of bring people together around this idea. Um, we, uh, the, the other issue was zoning and the state has provided a summary of questions to consider for amendments to the zoning. And we are beginning a dialogue. I think there's a meeting next week, Tom, is that correct with the state? That's, that's correct. Um, and in regard to other matters, um, um, the town applied for a Riverton Community Wastewater Study to, to evaluate the feasibility of a small scale community wastewater system. And, and this the, the, the point of this is to create some economic development in the Riverton Village Center. It's currently limited pretty, pretty uh, severely by wastewater capacity. Um, and the other thing that's happening is the town center, the town plan has to be updated in 2022. So we have begun a dialogue with CVRPC on the necessary updates to the town plan. And we will be working with them over the next year to get those completed. The, the, the updates are necessary for the childcare section of the town plan and to the educational and vocational training section as part of the approval of the town plan in 2018, we agreed to revise those sections in four years, which is coming up in 2022. So we met with Claire Rock and she's gonna work with us to get those up to par. And that's that's a lot, but that's all I got. <laughs> Any questions? Thank you, Carla. You guys have got a lot going on. Tom's busy. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else then, Carla? No, I think things. I mean, we're we we really want to make this town center thing successful. I think the, you know, we we were a little disappointed, um, you know, when we were hit with the reality of the conditions. But I think that it's motivated us to, um, you know, to really try to work hard to get it done. And and fortunately, with the current COVID funding, um, we're lucky that we can get some of the work done that needs to be done and get it paid for um, through through that, that process. So it was kind of fortuitous. So I think we're in good shape. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Carla. Thanks. Thank you. Um, let's see, a town website potential change. Yes. I uh, had put in your packet today. I don't know if you was oh, Halfway your, down. Uh, packet so there was some items for uh, select force consideration at, at the next meeting I, I believe so I, um, this, this, this discussion between uh, don't domain name you can see the uh, this page I'm looking at here Vermont uh, Berlin BT.gov or town of Berlin BT.gov is the two that the pin says research and found that are available. Um, so I think you'll be looking for the select board to to uh, make a, a decision on which one of if, uh, which one of those like to to go with. And then on the uh, back side, we'll have the name of technical contact. Uh, I think he was thinking of RV technology as a technical contact for this. But I believe he's going to be talking to you folks here at the next meeting about this, and we'll be uh, ask, just ask you to think about uh, this, uh, these items, and uh, be prepared to discuss it at your next meeting. Okay. Let's see what my chat says. Make sure I'm not talking out of school. Yeah, this is this is something we want to do. Um, 
The federal government has been wanting municipalities and states to move over for quite a while. Just goes to um, some of the security of your site and to provide citizens with reassurance that it is a real government website. Um, right now, if it's .com or .org, you know, it leaves people in question whether or not it's real. You know, we've had problems at the state where people create a, you know, Vermont.com instead and make it look like the Vermont site and people get confused and end up handing over credentials or information. So this is just a, probably a really good thing for us to do. It's something that um, we've wanted to do for a while. Else. I think it's a, one of maybe several steps to help cure our emailing problem um, and some other things that we just have been plaguing us for many years. So we're, I'm hope, we're hoping, all hoping that that's going to be the you know, beginning of the end. Mm -hmm. And al along with this, uh, Vince asked me to look at um, the IT proposal um, that RB Technologies had sent us a while ago and um, just asked for my thoughts on it overall. There's, there's quite a bit that they actually do in there. So I don't think it's, I don't think it's unreasonable for what they're charging. We just want to guide them as far as what we expect out of them for email and things like that. Because right now, it doesn't appear that um, the employees can check their email from home. It, it's just not a good system, especially if we were to go remote again. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Back when Dana was here, I used to have troubles. Uh, I couldn't get any emails through AOL. You know, it just wouldn't. So I got a uh, Yahoo account that worked fine. Yeah. So I can understand having emails working. Mm -hmm. RB's been in a long time. Yeah. Ruben. Yeah. And so that was just for uh, discussion purposes. Okay. Uh, anything else on this? Um, Conservation Commission update on management plan. Wendelin is here tonight. Hello, Wendelin. So, um, I think the management plan is with you right now. So we're actually waiting for feedback from the board and also the quarter minute, um, quarter agreement plan was with, with Vince. So I think um, you should have seen that also. So I guess I'm here basically to take questions or comments. I do have a note here from Vince on this uh, line item. He's looking for a vote for approval on, on that management plan. Has everybody had a chance to look at it? Your motion? I make a motion to accept the management plan as presented. I'll second it. Okay, any further discussions? After, uh, I just want to make sure I understand the process right. After we accept it, it will then go to the Vermont Land Trust? Yes, and we've discussed it with him already, so there shouldn't be a problem. Okay. There's a little other question. I've seen an email just on the fast part of that, something to do with the insurance requirements just recently. I just see an email today. Is it set in there? It's requiring, I think it was from the town's attorney. There's, yeah. there's actually two documents. One is the management plan, um, which is just for the force. It's a general plan. And then there's a second document, which is um, the corridor management agreement, which is the agreement that we would sign with FAST. Um, and that would be something we'd renew annually with them. That's what so I the think. insurance would be actually on the, um, Corridor management agreement. Now that would be liability insurance. Or any damages done? Fast force agreement. It was from Vent. Sorry, it took us to get. I don't know if you guys see that. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it either. Just came in today. It was that they were asking for best uh, insurance to be a three million per accident, six million per ag ag aggregate which is uh, also provided to another town, I guess. Maybe that's, that's a separate so, item. Separate on management. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. I just wanted to make no, sure. No, I well, I mean, I would think that VAS must, have, must carry their, 
I mean, this is going to be all on VAS. They carry their own insurance on this. They, they, they do. do. I think what we were asking for, or, or what was being suggested, I should say, by the attorney was to up the limits of the amount uh, based on what another town had done. So it was a suggestion to us to, yeah. you know, just increase their limits per accident and things like that. It's just something we need to consider. But And that's a separate item. A million dollars just okay. wouldn't go as far as it used to go. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? <laughs> I just wanted to make sure before I voted on something. See if I... Okay. Any other questions for Wendelin? Thank you, Wendelin. Yeah, the motion. Um, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, Wendland. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, traffic and parking ordinance review and discussion. Uh, just so I'm I didn't hear a motion, uh, so I'm not sure what it was. I mean, I think I know, but I didn't hear anybody offer a motion. Yep. Flo offered the motion to approve the management plan and okay. uh, gave Sawyer second. Okay. Got it. <clears throat> so in your uh, packet today, uh, there's a, a couple items. One was a summary of a traffic ordinance and, and speed limit of parking. And uh, the note that Vince gave me on, it's this single page with the map on the back. Uh, currently working with state on this, maybe in their right way, may need to, to uh, look to get some additional permitting. That's with respect to this map of parking on, on Brookville or on, on Painter Pike South. <clears throat> so that question needs uh, needs to be a, a, a addressed for actual parking on there. And Ben said he's working with the state to, to that end. Yeah. Um, then there's this further document, uh, multiple pages, mm -hmm. which uh, Vince went through and reviewed the existing traffic and vehicle ordinance and the items in yellow, what he is suggesting to be added to uh, to that ordinance. Um, I don't think he's looking for a motion today to that end. I think you may have to hold a hearing on this. I'm not positive, but I think you do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, he, but he wanted to get this to you folks in advance of scheduling that hearing. Make sure that if any of you had questions prior to that, that that get ferreted out before you actually have your have a hearing. On the on the parking on um, Payne Turnpike on Payne Turnpike was Vince looking at the state uh, allowing them to go toward the pond or toward the throughway? Towards the throughway. So kind of filling that ditch a little bit and extend it out so that'd be. Uh, well, I mean, of course, Payne Turnpike down through there is pretty wide anyway. So, did Ben say how many uh, parking spots he expected? Vince, you know how many parking spots? Yeah, what's your chat? 60. Round 60. Well, I should do it. Hope so. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's got that on here. 60 plus. It's like a Saturday morning up there. 1,550 mm -hmm. feet. Well, hopefully they'll take and clear up some of the congestion too. Good point. Thank you, Vince. Okay. So this right here, we need to review and make sure there's no other additions we want to it. Yep. Okay. Um, thank you, Vince, on that. Uh, Approval of licenses, permits, vouchers, and applications, payroll warrants. We have two payroll warrants tonight. The first one is payroll warrant 21 24. Are you putting this out as a motion? Yes, thank you very much. Um, Rusty, um, I make a motion to approve the first payroll warrant 21 24 for payroll from May 9th, 2021 to May 22nd, 2021, paid on May 26th, 2021, in the amount of $42,987.35. I also make a motion for the second payroll warrant 21-25 
for payroll from May 23rd, 2021 to June 5th, 2021, paid on June 9th, 2021, in the amount of $44,617.31. Also, payroll warrant 21G24 with checks 21155 to 21212 in the amount of $280,802.84, and the May reconciled bank statements for the General Fund Sewer Commission and Water Division. Do I hear a second? I'll second it. Did you want to go through those? I'll just. Uh... I, I know. I just had a couple of questions. I just wanted to have it in front of me. Um, the, the tractor rental that I see in here from HP Fairfield that was yes, to the that was like a month ago, right? Or did we get it again? No, that was a month ago. Okay. Yep. So that was for a week with our driver. Yes. And then right below that, four four items down is mowing. Yes, and we have different mowing. How much was that one for? $400? $1,400. That's the cemeteries. Okay. That's monthly. Okay. Uh, not roadside. Well, that's, what I, that's yeah. what I was wondering. I'm like, wait a minute. The third one there for mowing, too, and that's the municipal portion, which is $400. Okay, got it. Expensive mowing grass. Yep. Okay. Any other questions on the warrants? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Those opposed, motion carries. Uh, let's see here. Minutes of March 29th and April the 12th, 2021. make the motion to approve the special meeting minutes of Monday, March 29th, 2021. Second, uh, was everybody here for that one? You were actually out, it looks like. Right. I do see one uh, one change is the spelling of John's last name. On both of them. On yep. both of them. So with that motion, just the change to John's last name. Okay, so the revision is the additional, uh, is the change of John's name. Mm -hmm. I thought, maybe I'm wrong, but I thought on March 29th, I was out as well. Maybe I'm off. That March 29th, I guess that was quite a while ago. I can go look it up if you'd like, because I keep I keep track of that. Would you like me to go do that? It would take me two minutes. Yeah, we'd better. Yeah. Thank you, Diane. <laughs> On the 29th? 29th, yeah. You must have been here because you made a motion. And it was the special meeting. Oh, okay. Quinn made the motion to move forward. I missed approving. three meetings in a row. That's why I was trying to count yeah. back to when it was. Mm -hmm. And you're right. It was quite a while ago. And uh, Dave moved to adjourn, so there's... Yeah, I was here that one. I wasn't there for the other one, the 12. Right. School break. I think it was the school break one that I was out. Yeah, 29th, I wasn't here. You were here, right, Flo? Mm -hmm. okay. Just a reminder, or you could still vote on it, even though you weren't here. You're voting on the actors. actors. Well, I think that's what we can do. I think if you don't think you're all here, I don't have a motion. Yeah. Um, uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Those opposed, motion carries on that set. Now for the April 12th. I make a motion to approve the Monday, April 12th, 2021 minutes as presented with just the change to the spelling of John's last name be corrected. I'll second that. Any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Uh, 
Any executive questions? No. I, I would uh, like to talk uh, quickly to the board and executive session about a contract issue, Tom. <laughs> you want Diane or I to stick around or no? No, I don't think you need to. It's just it's just an update to make sure we're all on the uh, same page. Sorry, well, we don't well, have March 29th. We, got, we, 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 we figured, figured it out. out. We figured, we figured it out. out. Yeah. Thank okay. you for looking, though. Well, let's take and do a round table first, then everybody can head out. We can... Yep. Um, I just have one quick thing. Um, I asked, I, I stopped in this week to get uh, some paperwork from Vince and the offices were still locked. And Vince. So that's probably something at this point I think we should take up. Mm -hmm. um, and it, I, I think it probably, I don't know if it has to be warned or not, or if we can just give direction since I don't think we ever voted to lock the building either, right? I, I think what was uh, done a while uh, that we would follow state guidelines, right? So yeah. if, okay. if, if they, if the, and I believe the state has said that if you're fully vaccinated, like you guys are fully vaccinated, you can meet here. And, uh, so I would assume uh, that unlocking the door is just standard business practice. You could put a note up there saying, if you're not fully vaccinated, please talk, yeah. talk to the clerk. So I, I don't really think you need a motion. I think. So, which door were you trying to convince with this? Just one? the front door. Okay. Yeah. You guys yeah. just agreed that you're following state mm -hmm. guidelines. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We must yeah. be getting close to eighty percent, anyways. Is it as they hit it? It's got to be yeah. really close. Seventy-nine and a half. Yeah. <laughs> just like that. Just a thousand. So we're good there. Yep. Okay. Uh, Thanks, John. That was all I had. Well, uh, Paul? No, not today. Dave? Um, Before you go to executive session, when you come out, can you guys just turn, you, you can figure out how to turn this off? The it's, just yeah. the, it's just the zoom. You just get yeah. out of the zoom. And yep. Get, can do get that. the power button on that thing. All right? Yep. Okay. If they're going to go to executive session, don't you need to shut that down anyways? We need to put them all in the um, waiting room. Oh, okay. You're going to have to bring them out of the waiting room. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll answer the question for Dave now that he's going to ask. And uh, we do not expect any action taken in the executive yeah. session. It was just for discussion. Yeah. So I'll, I'll, I'll put everybody in the waiting room. You guys bring them back in and then you adjourn. Okay. Hi, Tom. This is Jill again. <laughs> Could you yeah. transfer host to Vince? Temporarily, please. I can't talk, but I'll run it. He can't talk, but he'll run it. Hey. Since he has to leave. Since you have to leave, he said. I can hear him. He's yeah, not I heard him. He's not supposed to be talking. <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> he cheats. <laughs> the mother in me says no talking, Vince. Thank you. You heard it here. I'm in trouble. Do you want me to lock the door out there so you guys don't have to worry about it? Yeah. That would be nice. Thank you. Hey, Vince, you should have it. You're going to need to park people in the uh, waiting room. Tom, would you mind forwarding me the packet? Uh, I had been going back and forth with Vince and he could get it to me tomorrow afternoon, but he said you could get it to me sooner. That'd be great. What packet are we talking about? Uh, the packet that went out for the, the board meeting tonight. I, I'm looking for the management plan and the uh, Fisher Road update and, you know, the stuff that was talked about tonight. Um, all right. I'm, I'm, I need to leave the building because they're in executive session. Right. So I'll, it'll be in the morning. I'll give you a call. Yep. Okay. Thanks. Yep. I make a motion to go into executive session to talk about a contract uh, matter. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. We are now in. The and. All right. Okay. Um, motion to adjourn. Your second. 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 All in favor? Aye. Aye. We're adjourned. Thanks, Vince. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Mrs. Conti.
You're welcome anytime for Vince. <laughs>